Hi, I'm Robert Harrison, Training Director here at NLP Institute of California. Now in this presupposition, we're going to talk about the idea that communication is redundant. And there's a couple of different ways to think about this. One is, is that we're always communicating in all of what we call in NLP the major representational systems, right? So that would be in terms of uh, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. So our body is communicating, our breathing, our gestures, um, the, the tension in our jaws, the muscles around our eyes and our face, the color tone, the dilation of our eyes. These are all communicating information at the conscious and unconscious level and we're communicating all the time and we're always communicating over and over again. Now, uh, many of you have heard of this idea, we call it the communication pie chart, that says that only 7% of your communication is the actual words that you say, and that 38% is how you say it, and then 55% is your body language. <clears throat> so, here's another way to look at that, okay? If only 7% is what you say, if 38% is how you say your voice tone, tonality, timbre, inflection, um, rhythm, pace, and 55% is your body language, so your gestures, the tension in your body, the skin tone, um, the tightness, the looseness, the dilation of the eyes. What this really means is that the majority of what you're always communicating, 93% of what you are always communicating is how you really think and feel right now. And so one of the things you might want to consider before you walk into a room, before you wa walk through the door home to greet your loved ones at the end of the day, before you go and talk to your children or someone important to you, is you might want to check inside and ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? Because chances are, whatever you're feeling right now, whether you're consciously aware of it or not, you're communicating it. This is why if you're feeling stress and pressure in your nervous system and you're walking around stressed and you're trying to not let it affect other people but it's on your mind you're thinking about it you're making movies of the work stress or the home stress or the relationship stress in your life and you're trying to get it away from it but of course right try not to think of the purple elephant boom now you think of the purple elephant don't put blue shoes on it now you have blue shoes on it right so trying to not think about something generally makes you think about it more right remember you know energy flows where attention goes so <clears throat> if you're in that state when you walk into a room that changes the tension in your body it changes the tension in your jaw the, it changes the muscles and the tension just around your eyes, how dilated or, or um, um, your eyes are, right? Whether your pupils are dilated or not. It affects the, the skin tone when you're not breathing and holding on. You know, you're, the, the, the blood begins to come out of your face and flow away. And all of these things are unconscious signals and realize that people have been responding to them they've been wired to respond to them their whole lives and so when you as a biological organism gets around another person and you start having these signals of tension and stress their nervous system goes uh oh there's a problem here let's get away from it and they often will want to move away from it so this is how you can kind of create your own self-fulfilling prophecy if you walk into a room and you're nervous and tense and scared that no one's going to like you you're going to hold more tension in your body you're not going to breathe as much so even if you try to talk and say the right thing it's going to sound different it's going to sound like distress and tension in the voice and so you want to become aware of this and start to use this. So one of the things I often will do with coaching clients and when teaching NLP students is teach them how to dial in the yum. How to make sure that you're getting into a yummy state. So if you're feeling yummy and thinking yummy things and, 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 and you're in a good positive mental emotional state before you walk into a room, well you're communicating that as well. And you know oftentimes we will misread other people we will project whatever's going on inside of us on them. So <clears throat> be aware of your mental and emotional state when you're walking into a room and realize your communication is very, very redundant, which means whatever you're thinking and feeling inside, if that's living inside of you, you will start to communicate that on the outside 
and as always, one of the fastest and easiest ways to redirect your attention and those thoughts is to make sure that you're asking yourself powerful questions.